Have you noticed some red ants on your property climbing up the trees and making large nests with leaves? They are called fever ants. And for a long time now, I've had them here at Ananda. And initially, they were a cause of huge distress for me. I felt like we had a pest issue and somehow we needed to get rid of them. But despite my best efforts, I could not get rid of them. And I'm so glad that I did not manage to get rid of them. Welcome to the world of weaver ants. These red ants which you see walking around your property, climbing up the trees and making nests in leaves are called weaver ants. They're called weaver ants because they weave their nests with a bunch of leaves in which the queen can lay eggs. These weaver ants are actually almost as fascinating as honeybees. They have major and minor ants and they differentiate very clearly in terms of size. They have different roles to play. The small ants look after the uh, eggs in the nest while the large ants go out and forage. Now these weaver ants can actually be very helpful for us because they eat a lot of small insects. So in a sense they are doing pest control on your farm. In some countries of Southeast Asia, farmers actually introduce beaver ants into their plantations so that they can help them with managing the pests. What's most fascinating about the beaver ants is the way they build their nest. They actually take a bunch of leaves together and pull them down many times in the opposite direction and then stitch multiple leaves together to form a balloon or a ball of sorts. Now you can imagine the weight of the ant and the weight of the leaf and how much effort it must be taking for them to pull it down. There is also a large gap between two leaves and for one ant to actually pull it down and stick it to the other is not possible. So what the ants do is the first one grabs the leaf with its jaw, its mandible and the other ants actually clasp this ant around the waist and make a chain. Yes just like the kind we do when we play tug of war and they make a chain and the last ant is actually on the other leaf and then they start pulling and when they pull the upper leaf comes down and sticks to the lower leaf they actually glue this together with some silk from their larva so it's absolutely fascinating and you should go around and see the nests on the property weaver ants can actually have hundreds of nests across various trees in one garden. I know that we have weaver ants on many trees and I've noticed like a wire tied between two trees often acts as a good conduit for them to travel from one to the other. So we have a pergola here at Ananda and it's become their expressway. They actually go up and down that pergola and uh, they form these big nests which sometimes dry out or even get destroyed in storms. A big reason for the ecological success of the weaver ant is its ability to weave a nest out of leaves which is impermeable to water, very strong and very resilient. And this is what's made the weaver ant so successful as a species. Yes, weaver ants are uh, painful. If they bite you, it's gonna hurt. So stay clear from them, but do not go out of your way to destroy them. So that's it from me. I hope you learned something new and fascinating today because I found this completely fascinating. And uh, nature is filled with such uh, miracles and such beautiful species. And we are just so, so lucky to be on this planet. If you like this video, please share it with others and uh, do subscribe to our YouTube channel and also follow us on our social media handles at Farm Ananda. Thank you. Bye-bye.